Good morning, everyone. We are in Hawaii. In Hawaii. We got in last night really late. What time was it? 10. 10 p.m. here. Checked in and luckily there was like a ramen spot downstairs that we ate at. It's pretty good. We are now heading out to explore. Third floor. We're going to get coffee right now. This is our fence for Second the day. Floor. Let's check out the pool. It's so cute. Here is the ramen place we ate at yesterday. It was pretty good. The gyozas were fire. ABC store across the way. Super pretty out. Hey everyone, this is everything we got. Nick, what kind of coffee did you get? Uh, an iced Hawaiian honey latte. Ooh, oh, good. With regular milk. I don't give me oat milk. <laughs> and I got a premium matcha latte with oat milk. How is it? It's delicious. Wow. It's good, right? It's really good. Wow, they do a really good job. Wow, that's so good. The drinks here are so good. I get the hype. But this is where we're sitting right now. It's super beautiful in here. Mm. Sitting on a log. Okay, so the matcha latte. Oh my god, it's so good. The best matcha you've had? Yeah, let's try it. I think it's the honey. Whoa. <laughs> right? That's good. Okay, and then we also got an original acai, which is regular acai base with granola, banana, blueberry, and strawberry. And then this gem. An ube cheesecake cookie. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try the bowl. First is always sniff test. Mmm, it smells like uh, banana. Okay, it smells only like banana. Mmm. Is it good? Oh. Mm -hmm. How's the consistency of the acai? <laughs> what does it kind of taste like? It's thicker, it's not. Uh, it's like thick and icy. Okay. Granola is good. Fruits are super fresh. Mm. Right? So cold. It's good though. Mm -hmm. mm. How's it smell? Ube like? Mmm. Sniff test 11 out of 10. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa. That looks good. Mmm. Stop. Oh my God. No. <laughs> we need to buy more. Oh no. It tastes like the ube tart boat. Oh. Try it, I swear to God. Does it not taste like the ube tart boat? I've never had it. For those of, if anyone knows what that is, or if you can <laughs> find it for me, what? it's only ever at Goldilocks back in Vancouver and they don't sell it anymore. But this literally tastes exactly like it. If Chris is watching this, Chris, oh my, I have to bring one of these home back for you. And, and it's so nostalgic, it's so good. Oh my God. Shirashi Don. So cute. It's like as big as my palm and food bowl. This seafood looks so fresh. His own nigiris. Okay, so we opted for a spam masubi. Hopefully these ones are good here. Mm -hmm. Usually we get them from ABC and we've yet to try the one from 7 Eleven. Good test. It smells like egg and spam if you were to cook it at home. How is it? It's alright. Definitely ABC is better. What? So wow. I'm excited to see what 7 Eleven's like. 
just like normal, right? That's good though. Yeah. Also, like musubis when it's the whole thing wrapped in seaweed. Yeah, not, not just, just like the strip. It's very just like sushi like. Yeah. Not bad, but also not the best. So we'll be going to a few more places to try musubi. We also just booked a permanent jewelry appointment at 4 30. So we're gonna walk around and then come back this way to get that done. We're gonna do bracelets. Stay tuned for that. Some fried chicken skin, similar to the one at Seafood City. Look at these platters, they're huge. Look at this tempura one. Um, this is my life right here. Wow. I want that. A karagi bowl? Holy, look at that fried chicken. Chicken wings, fresh, hot, fried chicken skin. Hot foods. Oh my god, life. Here's some rice. Fried rice, chicken. Ooh, salt and pepper shrimp. Bao. Ooh, butter mochi. Ooh, lilikoi. Anakai mochi, coconut. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. Look at all of their prepared foods. Some cakes, but most importantly, the poke. I am ready. Some more masubis, some onigiris, but again, not the crispy seaweed. You want another one? Which one's this that one? different though. It's spam, but it's fully wrapped and it has fucking. Look at the chicken one. Right there, oh. chicken. What are these? Oh, furikake wonton. Okay, we need to get this. I'm sick of rice, you guys, so I think I'm gonna have this with my poke. They look so good. Furikake wonton chips. Holy, we have like platters, sashimi, full crab legs. This is insane. And then, yeah, the sashimi looks so fresh. Okay, we are back from the day out. We are heading to the permanent jewelry studio in like an hour, so we're gonna quickly eat. We picked up food, poke specifically. We've been craving poke all day, so we went to Foodland. It's actually really cool there. They have a lot of prepared foods, tons of poke, just tons of food, like ready-made food. It was really cool. So Nick is unpacking the bag right now. You guys, we kind of got being boozled because we weren't paying attention to how much everything was, but when we went to go pay, we spent $72, okay? This, right here. So we got the fresh furikake wonton chips. We got two of them because the big bag was like way too big. We got three different kinds of poke. So I'm gonna eat mine with wonton chips because we've eaten way too much rice today. And then I also got this. If you guys haven't had mussel poke or kimchi mussels, I highly recommend trying it. It is really good and it's super cheap. Like this was four bucks, but um, each of these was basically like $17 each, which we were not expecting. Yeah, so this is our, I guess lunch, but we'll do a taste test with you guys because we taste tested the spicy shoyu one. That one was really good. So let's just try all the other ones with you. I'm gonna try this. Chip. Spicy. Mm. Okay, this one's the wasabi. That is the original. You know, it has wasabi. Oh, an original wasabi. It's like a shoyu wasabi. This one is a spicy shoyu ahi. And this one is spicy ahi. Just like a creamy spicy like with ahi. The, with a creamy sauce this time though. Usually these ones are a little bit more spicier. And the kimchi mussels look so good. First up is this shoyu wasabi one. You get a good pinch. A good pinch. Mm, okay. Mm. Mm. Whoa, you can taste the wasabi. Oh, that's really like meaty. Whoa, it has like the wasabi mm. kick too. I just realized all the ones that we got are spicy. This one is the spicy, like creamy one. That one's super like 
velvety, creamy. Yeah, that one's good. And this one looks literally like the first one. Just a little bit more spicier, I guess. Mmm. That tastes like, like a spicy sashimi. Mm -hmm. Like one that you would get at like sushi. Here's another spam masubi, people. The rice Fully wrapped furikake. this time. And this time the rice has furikake in it. Furikake? This is, like, this is how I like masubis. Looks good. Mmm. This is better. We're gonna try the kimchi mussel. Mmm, so good. Okay. Mmm. So hearty. Wow. That's fire. That one's really good. If you guys come to mm. Foodland, get this one. It's really good. Anyway, we're gonna finish this up and then head over to our jewelry appointment. So we'll see you guys there. Here are some contenders. Probably gonna go with this dainty chain. And then Nick is gonna get a thicker chain. Both silver. Get on my right? Sure. Where are you gonna get yours? I'm gonna get mine on my right because I don't want everything on one hand. Like my engagement ring, our wedding bands, and the bracelet. I'll mm -hmm. get on my right then. <laughs> 20. It's not for 